Hello po sa inyong lahat, isang maaliwalas at maalansangang Webes, ika-22 na Abril, 2021. Pero signal number one sa Extreme Northern Luzon, kaya po sa mga kababayan natin na nasa lug- sa may uh, lugar na mayroong signal, ingat po tayo. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Benji Chidoro, nag-aanyaya. Nasamahan ninyo ako sa isa na namang edisyon ng The Stock Market Today. Ako po ay isang retired bank officer na nag-start mag-invest sa Philippine Stock Market noong 2007. And uh, I do the Stock Market Report every day, which I started of August of last year. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. And if you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And if you have stocks in mind na nais nyong ipa-review, paki-comment lang po sa comment box at aking ipa-prioritize. Ang news po natin ay tungkol sa Converge at SM Prime at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw, April 22, 2021, dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. From the business world, Converge to invest over $100 million in Trans-Pacific Cable System. Listed fiber internet provider Converge ICT Solutions Inc. announced on Wednesday that it would invest more than $100 million in a new Trans-Pacific Cable System aimed at increasing internet speeds and network diversity in the country. Our investment into one full fiber pair connecting us to Singapore and their west coast of North America will allow us to independently activate at will up to 15 terabytes or terabits per second of capacity to either country using the latest technology. Converge Chief Executive Officer and Co-Founder Dennis Anthony H. Uy said in an email statement. Converge said it signed a binding term sheet with Keppel Midgard Holdings PTE Limited, a wholly owned subsidiary of Singapore Keppel Communications and Trans- Transportation, to grant the Philippine fiber internet provider an indefeasible right of use or IRU for one fiber pair on the main trunk of Bifrost cable system. Bifrost cable system is a trans-Pacific cable system connecting Singapore, Indonesia, the Philippines, Guam, and the west coast of the United States, according to the official website of Submarine Cable Networks, a provider of consulting services on the planning, construction, operation, and marketing of submarine optical. The cable system is a project of Facebook, PT, Telecom Unicasi Indonesia International and Campbell Telecommunications and Transportation. Spanning 15,000 kilometers, the new Trans-Pacific Cable System is expected to be completed in 2024. Converge will be working with Keppel Midgard to develop a branch in Bifrost Cable System that will land in Davao. Converge and Keppel expect that additional branch will significantly increase the internet speeds and network diversity for business and consumers in the Philippines. So that's our news, our good news on Converge. And next, actually, nakita ko lang po ito sa Phil Star, no? As I was reading the news, the person in the picture here is former BSP governor Amado Tetanco Jr., who was elected as independent director of SM Prime. SM Prime Holdings is the mall business of SM. SM Prime Holdings Inc., the real estate arm of the C Group, elected two independent directors, three independent directors rather, led by former BSP Governor Abado Titanco Jr. The two other independent directors are Darlene Ber. 
Berabe and Carlitos Cruz. I think Carlin Berberabe was the former head of Pag-ibig and the wife of Samboilin, I think. Tapos yung daughter niya is a uh, magaling sa math. Mag magaling sa math to eh. Both Darlene and the uh, daughter who is a karate black belt. Well, Carlitos Cruz is not, not too familiar. Together with the tanko, they succeeded Jose Quisha Jr. He is also a former BSP governor and um, former president of uh, Film Life who was the lead independent director and vice chairman of the board, Gregorio Kilaiko and Joselito Sibayan. Quisha, who stepped down as vice chairman, thanked the late SM Group founder Henry Tatang C. Sr. and acknowledged his children's leadership qualities as well. C's eldest son and namesake Henry Big Boy C. Jr. is the chairman of SM Prime, while his other sons Hans and Herbert C. are also members of the board. Completing the new board are SM Prime President Jeffrey Lim and George or Jorge Mendola, Mendiola, who were re-elected. Okay, Jorge Mendo Mendiola is uh, probably probably the son of Senen Mendiola. Senen Mendiola is the original partner of uh, Henry C. when he put up the business, SM Schumart. Yung nasa, nasa Carriedo. Yan po yung unang negosyo ni SMC, SM Schumart. Mga sapatos po yan. Kaya po, yung ibig sabihin po ng SM ay aside from uh, SM Schumart, si Mendiola yun eh. Si Mendiola ang ibig sabihin nun. Ibig sabihin, partnership po yan na ni Henry C. at ni Senen Mendiola. And I think George Mendiola is the son. Okay? So, during this message, Lim said COVID-19 disrupted SM Prime's consistent yearly stellar growth led by its office and residential segments. Core businesses are slowly recovering from the contraction brought about by community quarantines which were imposed last year as a result of COVID-19 global health pandemic. SM Prime is setting aside $80 billion for capital expenditures this year as it continues to adapt to the changing business environment. It has stepped up its digital efforts to respond to the evolving needs of customer. Last year, SM Prime reported a consolidated net income of 18 billion pesos, down 52.7%, as revenues declined by 30% to 81.9 billion. So that's um, good news and a good item on independent directors. Uh, alam nyo, kinukuha ng mga kumpanya ay yung mga may pangalan, ano? Lalo na to si Mr. Tatanko, a former BSP head, would give valu valuable inputs on the regula on regulations, no? On BSP, on his knowledge of the business environment, on macroeconomics in general. So, mahalaga po yung inputs ng mga known figures, former head of uh, the Banco Central. And uh, sometimes yung mga former uh, justices of the Supreme Court kinukuha ring independent directors for their knowledge of the law and regulation also. So what happened to the PSE? Let's take a look. Okay, the PSEI lost uh, 23.86 points to end at 64.15.53. And uh, let's put up our indicators. So it's bearish and uh, support is holding here at 6380 to 6400. Yan yung uh, nearest support and it's holding. So nagba bounce siya dun sa support level na yon. If we'll take a look at the market summary. 127 companies declined, 71 advanced while 46 remained unchanged. The All Share Index also registered a decline of 0.43%, while all the sectoral indices also declined, led by mining at 3.45% in the red, or it is down by 3.45%. 
And then this is followed by maliliit na lang to eh, the financials at 0.69%. So we will be reviewing the most active stocks. The top 10 would be Ali, BDO, Merrimart, Meg, APL, AC, BPI, ASEN, SM, and AP. So let's now start with Ali. Okay, Ali also declined by 90 centavos to end at 32.10. So it is bearish in nature. Yung kanyang movement is uh, bearish with support as actually this is already support. So support is at uh, 3180 to 32. So it is uh, within the support area niya na yung presyo. And uh, take note lang, yung RSI is at 27 which is already makes the stock oversold. So after Ali, Mary Mart or BDO muna. Okay, BDO also registered a decline. It lost 260 to end at 103 with support at 100 to 101 and sentiment is sideways to bearish. So after BDO, Mary Mart, nag-gain ba si Mary Mart? It also ended down with support at here, 4, 450 to 460. It lost 11 centavos. And uh, in general, the stock is just moving sideways. Let's do Meg next. Meg, patuloy na bumababa si Meg with the nearest support. Let's uh, take a look. It's here at 3 pesos. It's now at 316. And it continues its downward trend since our indicators, the moving averages, the 20, 50, and 100, are above the candlesticks. Tinyo to, sunod-sunod na red candlesticks. Pero I see a weakening somewhat of the candlesticks. And the RSI is close to oversold at 31.43. After Meg, APL. Okay, APL continues to move sideways with the uh, RSI at 40.71 so doji siya ngayon lo losing a fraction of a uh, centavo that's 0 0.001 to end at 22.30 so yan po yung Apollo Global just uh, above our indicators moving sideways and then Ayala Corporation puro bearish po yung indicators natin or yung ating stocks. So Ayala Corporation ended with a doji. It ended flat actually at 745 and it is uh, bearish to sideways also with the nearest support at uh, 723.50 to 724. So after Ayala Corporation, BPI Guys, kung meron kayong stocks that you want me to review, please comment in the comment box lang. So I'm just reviewing the top most active stocks today. BPI is moving sideways. It has been uh, sideways, in, into the sideways movement since, um, let's check, middle of March. So sideways siya hanggang ngayon with um, support, let's place it at MO100 at 80. So after BPI, ASEN. ASEN, bearish pa rin. In general, it's moving sideways. Actually, it is the price is just resting on the EMA 20. So let's place the support level at EMA 100. That's 4.76 to 4.80 is the nearest support for AC Energy which ended at 319 or 719 and then SM SM ended in the green gaining 2 pesos pero it is still below our moving averages sentiment is still bearish sideways to bearish and more on the bearish side with support at uh, 5 950 to 960 and then finally our last stock is Aboitis Power. Naku, 
bumagsak si Aboitis Power, a solid engulfing red candlestick, losing 1 peso and 15 centavos to end at 22.30. But AP is a very good stock actually. So, ang kanyang support level, actually it broke support. So, the previous support, ang layo, malayo yung kanyang support level. Nasa March pa. This is the lowest level since March. So, nag-break siya ng support. Ang previous support niya would be here at um, 23.30 to 23.40. So, it broke the support level and the sentiment is bearish. So, it is now close to oversold with the RSI at 31.10 or 31.11. So, bearish ang kanyang sentiment. But, Aboitis being a power company and an index stock will bounce back. And that is um, expected of index stocks. They are very resilient. Yan po ang ating report sa stock market, April 22, 2021. Ito po si Benji Chidoro, nagpapaalala an investment in knowledge, pays the best interest. Maraming salamat pa sa inyong pagsubaybay and see you again in our next episode. Thank you and bye for now.